go for this sunset ride. Just one big hole. This is so peaceful and so calming, guys. Hopefully, uh, I mean, the activities are so innocent, man. So innocent. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed my uh, sunset water jumping right here from the pier. Thank you. I'm at a point right now guys where every time I think about it I feel so inspired and I feel so blessed and I feel undeserving because I'm literally at a point where before I do anything I stop and I ask the Holy Spirit to guide me and he guides me I, I could be extremely frustrated um, like today I was frustrated um, the day didn't start off well but man is it ending well so oh and that's what i want for you guys i want the same for you guys to have the same type of connection with god where you have him like i'm not at the point where asking you shall receive but i pretty much am you know because today i asked for guidance like what do you want what do you want me to do here i was in a situation where the hotel um wasn't thank you wasn't all it was a uh, hyped up to be yeah but i want to talk about negative stuff and so i was disappointed and remember what I told you guys about bringing your your wife to the Lord because when you're uh, you're weak when you're lacking in grace your wife's grace will hold you down and again it's not the first time that it's happened where I'd given up on the day um, and she hadn't and because of her persistence, her tenacity, we ended up having one of the best um, evenings of our life. So. Here you go. Young gay couple there. Oh, not young, but older gay couple there, you know, enjoying their, their wine. Older uh, heterosexual couple here just join their walk. No one messing with anyone. Everyone just loving and living life. So here it is guys i don't know if you guys remember my video from earlier i was literally walking about a mile deep in there walking and i even told you guys this is a good place where you can uh, actually play football american football and i was telling you i wonder what all these this all this stadium seating is i look Look at it now. This is exactly what this stadium seating is for. I'm just like completely at all. I'm completely at all at what I'm witnessing here. This uh, beautiful phenomenon that I've never experienced 
anywhere in the world and this is now this is my 22nd country this is my 22nd country and um i'm a beach kid you know i'm a beach kid uh i'm socal kid you know santa monica is my peer my wife is from huntington beach so i hung out there a lot so i know a thing or two about oceans and i live in an island in ibiza and never have i seen a phenomenon like this man never i was literally a mile in guys a mile in and i was wondering i'm like the the sand looks wet i was thinking there's seashells everywhere and you guys saw those little uh like curly round things a uh, curly uh worm looking things i didn't know what they were and um lo and behold look at this lo and behold i had no clue that when the tide came in it was going to come in this deep and i've never seen such like a vast difference in uh the tides and low tide and high tide it's just night and day guys it was night and day for me this is what i love because when i see all this i see our lord and savior jesus christ i see god when i see all this as powerful as the sea is this is exactly where it stops if god wanted to he can just boom send all that going way up there but he doesn't he doesn't do that but there is a reckoning coming so come to jesus now guys come to god now look at this beauty this is all god right here this is his creation give me this peace and tranquility any day this is what i live for all these beautiful birds earlier today i was asking god to uh, guide me i was i was calling on the holy spirit to guide me and to what he wanted me to do i was frustrated this morning i wasn't trusting god and just like just like this taught me another lesson and i'm at the point right now where i stop and i ask for guidance which is the way you should do it because before if i started the day frustrated if i was frustrated i threw the day away and i was grumpy moody um you know mean to my wife and now i'm being trained by god through the holy spirit i'm being trained spiritually so that i can be what god wants me to be so that i can see what god wants me to see so that i can heal which is my main concern right now is my is my main goal is to heal and um after healing comes deliverance baby so man i hope you guys have been enjoying these videos because i've been enjoying making them and hey this is barely country number one uh we still got two more to go and possibly three so stay tuned